everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of the Book Club of Destiny. So, yeah, it's been a while and I won't bore you with my excuses. Let's just get on with it. We are currently reading A Swiftly Tilting Planet a companion book to A Wrinkle in Time. This is actually the third book in the Time Quintet. And if you want to read about the first two, please check out the blog. And don't forget to look at the blog to see all the books that you may have missed because I haven't been making videos. One that you may have missed that I didn't make a video for but that I would highly, highly, highly recommend is Rump. Sounds like a weird name, but Rump, the true story of Rumpelstiltskin, a great, great story. I thought it was very creative and just isn't one of those stories that you see a lot of retellings of. So it is really worth the read. You should look it up. So it occurs to me that I haven't really taken advantage of the whole baking aspect that I wanted to bring to the book club. Everyone knows that a great book club has some sort of treat. Even if it's not sweet, there's food. Everything's better with food. And it's not that I haven't been baking. I just haven't recorded me baking. And besides that, when I first had the idea, I was like, let's just keep it to foods that are in the books, which Yes, it's a cool idea, and I will still continue to do that, but I also want to just make it broader, because like I said, book clubs, foods, together, it's magic. One of my favorite things to make is bread. All breads. They're all so good and full of carbs and make the soul happy. But something that I have never done is made bread in a bread maker. And I just so happened to have received a bread maker as a gift and I am told that it is amazing, a lifesaver. You don't have to worry so much about your dough. So I have a bread recipe that is one of my go-to recipes that I love. It's just a simple white bread but is delicious, especially with homemade jam, which I don't have any because I ate it all. <laughs> but we'll survive. So today I am going to try making this recipe in my bread maker and we'll see if the first time is a success or if I'm going to need some extra practice. and. I guess I'll find out if I like using the bread maker more than I like doing it by hand. Okay, after meticulously reading the user manual, I've discovered that when it comes to a bread machine, the order in which you want to add your ingredients are wet ingredients first, then dry ingredients, and then your yeast on top. So this is what you will need. A cup and a half of warm water, a fourth a cup of melted butter, Ta -da! a fourth a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of salt. The recipe then calls for three to four cups of flour and I'm just going to go ahead and do the full four cups. So there's one, two, three, and four. Now what we need to do is make a little well in the flour for us to put our yeast in because the yeast cannot come in contact with the liquid ingredients here in the bread maker. So we're going to just use our finger and make a little well there for our yeast. Ta-da! And one tablespoon of yeast goes right there. 
Perfect. Okay guys, this is where it starts getting really exciting. Because now, we get to put our bread pan back into the bread maker. And here we go. For the first time ever in my bread making career, I now get to go off for like three hours and not worry about my bread. It's taking care of itself. And seriously, I am ridiculously excited over this. Here's hoping that it turns out just as well as if I would have done it by hand myself. So I've made a discovery. If you're using a bread machine for that recipe, you have to use less yeast. <laughs> because um, for the time, that's the pre set time whatever on it to rise it actually made it rise too much and so it did deflate a little bit um in the middle and it got caught <laughs> on the handle of the bread pan but aside from the top being kind of funky and still turned out pretty good i mean so you can see funky top and that i picked a way to to rescue it and then gobbled it straight up the bottom looks good. Bottom looks good. All right, guys. Look at this beautiful piece of bread. I put some honey on it, and I'm going to eat it. That's good stuff right there. Mmm. I think the best part about it. <laughs> that I didn't have to worry about it for three hours and my house still smelled like that wonderful glorious smell of cooking bread mmm so good so good